It's kind of the, kind of the, crazy setup. The Zen is going to be difficult to deal with as well, mind you. Like now, Paris adding the Zenyatta into the mix. Uh, the Discord's like Sado needs to play this perfectly. Uh, yeah, so much to contend with. Immortality fill, but then the Discord orbs. I mean, the tank line is nasty. You've got Exe banging out your back line as well if you're not careful. And right now, I mean, you see, he just gets hit with a rock accretion. Like, I have no idea what Philly think they're supposed to do here. <laughs> What is the plan here? Uh, moving in towards the inside closes the gap. And they can get closer to Exy without exposing well, themselves to Widow. Yeah, but now, now Exy just rotates, right? Yeah, this is going about the way that you kind of predicted it would, Matthew. Yeah. Immortality field was there, even with a nice body grenade from Alarm. Uh, that kind of just gets negated. And, and this is just, uh, honestly, it's a really smart read from the Paris Eternal. Uh, it, let's take them to a map. Doesn't favor them. Gives us a big advantage in terms of the composition we want to run. And make it really difficult. Like, they're just trying to get the payload <laughs> up the street to force them. Tank funny. Astro moving the car. They, they're just trying to, they're trying to get them further around the corner. They need to create space. They're just trying to get the payload up around the corner so they can get in. All right. Oh, he's... Okay, the hack. That was on the empty god. No immortality field means no Zenyatta. And empty god gets picked up right after. I can't believe it. I feel like I'm playing hard mode right now. Like, they are making this unnecessarily hard by playing this comp, and it worked out because the coordination is so good. Uh, and you can only really play this, like, because <laughs> you have, like, because Alarm is getting Nano so fast. And then Sa Sato's Winston, just being able to stay alive, like, uh, so many other Winstons we've seen play into this type of stuff just get picked off so easily. Like, the, the ability to keep Sato alive is unreal. I mean, now, yeah, Fielder getting picked off in the back line there. Ben Vesta stands up on the point, but Fury's charged up now. He got a long fight to get all of this charge now. He acts as another DPS. He doesn't care about Sigma. Uh, if you're Sigma and the enemy Zarya walks past your shield, yeah. you can't do anything. If you try and increase you, she has plenty of notice to bubble herself. If you try and recall her, your shield, she'll just step past the next one. And you can't use kinetic grasp on her, so she's out. just going to ruin you. So now Axie goes over to Ash here uh, for the inside phase. I think you could have even gone McCree here uh, in very terms respectful. of like the effective range. They're gonna try and they're gonna try and get a grab from behind and then a biotic grenade here if they play bridge. Respectful they're playing Lexi. far. Yeah. They're gonna have the Ash home by ten here. No Widowmaker this time. EMP is, and that's also hit the supercharger I think, which is just gonna hurt the damage. Supercharger now gets forced out by FD God or of FD God should I say? The transcendence though from Fielder was just right. And, and Billy's gonna try and win this. They're gonna oh they paid out the gravitic flux. They get absolutely nobody with it. Is the blade good enough to get anything, though, as uh, Ivy falls? It's not. No, it's not. Not with that nano boost. I think there was it was a defensive gravitic flux from Hanbin, I suppose. But Ivy but, uh, didn't really have... I mean, he wasn't really going to be much He baited it, though. Like, uh, when, when the Ivy pulls out the blade, gets the nano, he starts to go towards the bridge. Hanbin uses the gravitic flux, and you can see Ivy to the left-hand side. Doesn't okay. even make it up on another bridge. Ivy did get nanoed, then. Yes. Okay. Right, well, that makes sense then to use the Gravity Flux. Then defensively, the Ivy doesn't get anything when he tries to hit that back line. If he got hacked again. Oh, man. Stop out there for Batiste. And now the healing for Paris is really average Gone. with just a Zenyatta. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's just establish this. We, we spent a lot of time talking about how hard it is to die this comp, right? Like Paris have so many tools to make it hard for Sato to stick to a target or for Ivy to get an easy pick. As soon as you hack the Batiste, right. the, the script on all that gets completely flipped. Well, th yeah, this is a better version of it, though, I think, with uh, the, the sparkle on Tracer is a bit odd, but you know, having Fielder play the Batiste and then have FD God play the Brig, I think this is much better. Uh, it gives you a little bit more healing. You yeah. can play Brawly with the Brigitte. Stun the Sombra as well if she tries to go for some sort of hack. Oh, and that's a nasty biting grenade as well. And that immortality field, it's not enough! The entirety of the Eternal get knocked out of it, and then it expires anyway. There wasn't enough healing, uh, you know, during the period of that immortality field being down because of a, such a big body grenade on three people. Everybody on Philly is operating at peak capacity right now. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe you're able to make this work. Is uh, look, look at Alarm just taking the, the duel up on the high ground, and Nano boost here from Alarm on a Hisu. It's, uh, you hear the Sombra, little gun, go burr. <laughs> Uh, Quite satisfying, actually, when nanoed. Yep. 
You don't see it often. Is that now you'll have the Philly Fusion take checkpoint two and look at this image. Uh, you'll have EMP blade set up here. Uh, Hanpin now plays Zarya. It just seems like the Eternal are just struggling for answers, just cycling through heroes here. You know what I'm not looking forward to? The next yes. time I catch up with Tucker and he gives me that annoying grin, he's like, yo, Mitch, remember when you thought our dive composition was going to lose to double shield? <laughs> God, please don't let that happen. Paris, much better. They get rid of Sadu to begin. <sighs> Sparkle Sparkle almost walks into his death that. there, yeah. It's just a right click from Ivy. Wow, this is buffed Genji, so uh, this, this feels damage. like another. This feels like another fight though, where they're baiting them in, right? Like uh, Philly knows they have this EMP. They're just allowing. The where was that? Where did he even get stuff from? Oh, okay. Now, yeah, he can't finish the tracer on his own. Even if he throws the bio while having shot. Sparkle tries to recall, but he recalls back to a very close location because he was slept for so long. So that's the pick for Philly. They bait into the tracer in. Here's an EMP catch in the front line of Paris. So Hardman has no bubbles to give to Ben Best, no way to get charged, which means no damage. You're still able to win the fight if you're the Philly Fusion. You have to end up using your grab. You probably would have liked to hold on to that one. Uh, next fight though, you have double support ult and blade. And look at this, they have no they have nothing. Uh, no rally, no grab. Uh, Bob, you used a lot in that fight for the Paris Eternal. You're in trouble uh, here for Paris. This, this is a spot where Sato can get to the high ground, put some damage. Sato will probably have Primal Rage here as well. Alarm. Sees the Hulk coming. Tries to sleep into the back line, but Spiker will be allowed to do what he wants for the time being. Alarm knows he's being harassed. He tries to get rid of this Nana Boost now, and Ivy's trying to get rid of the Eternal. Immortality Field there was right on time by Field. You can't fault him for that. Great whip shot, preventing Ivy from getting a dash reset for his last slash of the blade. Oh, that, that was good D from Paris. Yeah, FD got Very good FD. Well, what they decided to do there is when the, the blade came in, instead of trying to turn and deal with it, they just muscled through the remaining players on the card. They said, hey, you know, look, they, they have a Winston in the back line, Nano Blade. There's no saving uh, XE in the back. You know, you had Fielder there as well. Let's just use our Brig and push through the front line. There's nobody here. Uh, and they're able to win those engagements. Now give themselves a chance to hold the cart. Sparkle's hunting for something. Oh, nice. That was a good good halt there from Ben Best. Only 23 seconds left. Paris Eternal have been doing very well, actually, even when short-handed in some yeah. of these fights, map. Grab Pulse Bomb here. A possibility. Okay, Primal might make this a little hard to put together. I know what Sato is trying to do. He's just... Oh, right now he's just bouncing around the place, actually. He has to just touch point. Right. He was low Trigger on Trigger OT. He got point. Here comes that Graviton Surge. Pulse Bomb you expect will be coming out in just a moment. Oh! The hack! No chance for Sparkle to drop the Pulse Bomb. Maybe he tried to. It just didn't really find its mark. Either way, Hardbeat is down. Fury's close to a grab. But he needs to get damaged, not on shield, to actually charge that one up properly. Alarm lets the nano boost go now. So Ivy's gonna try and make something happen here. It looks like Alarm nano to target that was just about to die. Maybe we'll start. It, he, he doesn't want to push in here because you're playing around Fury's grab. He's too oh no! Fury over the edge! Fantastic punch by Sparkle! The Doofus comes out at just the right time. Bit of a clutch pick for him. And yes, Philly weren't ready for it. They are knocked off of the card. And the Paris Eternal. Really impressive. They weather the yeah. storm of this frustrating dive composition and they prevent Philly from finishing the map. They come out clutch. That one, it was looking like it was getting out of control again, but that time Paris was able to stabilize. And it was that one fight where Nanoblade comes in for the Philly Fusion. Paris, instead of turning and trying to defend it, which it would have allowed Fury and Co. to just kind of push up, eliminate players, they just push straight on through with the Orisa and their own Zarya and their Brig. They're able to take out players just for the fusion, playing on cart. It's the right decision there. See what they decide to do on defense. Philly, I think, probably comes out, plays that same dive yet again. Paris, do you try and play... Uh, do you try and play, like, uh, Exe on Ash? Do you try and play him on Widow? Uh, you can play, maybe play some McCree. This is interesting. So this tells me that Philly wants to play Brawly and close. They want to defend really close to the door. A little uh, dangerous this is because this, I, I believe Paris probably look at their best when they're, they're dealing with double shield, but this is a twist for Philly. More mobile, more lethal. 
We need and it has mice, so that's filthy. Oh, I think this will probably catch them off guard a little bit. They probably expect Philly to play something a little bit more dive-centric on D. But once the S surprise factor expires, They're is this still a good comp to be going with? Uh, this is what they tried to play on control, right? That's true. I mean, this is exactly co uh, minus Carpe and Poco. This is exactly the composition they ran on control where they got dominated. Uh, the only thing here is Paris cannot kite it as easily because there's a central objective that they have to go to. This is almost like if Philly would have had control of the point, right. we would have seen it play on That's control. That's a fantastic yeah. way of putting it, Matt. Yeah. It's like, it's, this is more of a dynamic setup now where Philly actually get to choose to have Paris come yeah. to them. And, well, FD God walks straight into Hisu's sights on the, the Widow. <laughs> like, this is how it would have worked if they were holding control of the point. Mind you, Sparkle's 90% to Blade. Oh my, that's uh, so fast. The dash through and the damage is pretty decent. This guy is crazy. All right, he'll have a Blade in just a moment here. Can uh, he use it safely, though? Mm, he was going to try it anyway. I mean, he wants to brawl and it gets punished. Okay, it's a trade. Sato goes down. Discord all finally gets stuck in that coalescence from Alarm is... It's not really enough to keep the front line as alive for Philly. They can, I mean, they can stack and brawl out a little bit here, but eventually they'll have to give some ground. Oh, oh, oh my oh. God, Hisu! Two quick headshots in succession. The grapple shot, it looks stylish. And I mean, yeah, I don't think Sparkle wants to hang around out in the open. Yeah, I was going to say, you still, you still had your third tank on the point with May, but you may as well true, back true. out here. Now, now this becomes much harder for Philly to play. Now it'll probably look a little bit like how it looked on control. If the side's down, they'll know where the Doomfist comes from at any rate. And also, he's just trying to, I think he's trying to pick Fielder out of the mix here. But Fielder sees him coming, and Hanbin helps him finish it off. Now, the Fusion are in full-scale retreat here, and it's like they can't get back quickly enough. Hanbin wants to catch Sato in that uh, kinetic, uh, gravitic flux. That's the only player he wants. Now inside the blizzard, Hanbin is frozen up and there's a transcendent there by Fiel a Fielder. So Paris really have all the tools they need. Now against the sound buried Philly, they want to be careful, but they still want to brawl. Hanbin shields himself up again and look how far forward Ben Best is playing. Paris are out for blood here, but they've lost Hanbin to a coalescence. The cart though, it marches on. Yeah, you're, yeah they're going to turn this though. Philly will be able to win this on the defensive end. Because you invested everything in there. But that also tells you that Philly is, you know, you're kind of playing in the long game, right? You know you you got the car pretty far. Havana, a very difficult map to finish. I think Widowmaker here on first, which is yeah. a bunch of fun. Which, which, uh, it's definitely one that's probably shocked Paris, because if you would have thought they would have played Widow or any type of hit scan like this, that Carpe would be in the game. But he's always looked incredibly Look good. Look at this wrap to the high ground. Now they're pushing Exe. She's trying to get away. I mean, even I mean, you see, even Alarm is pushing there with the kinetic grasp. Sparkle, where does he go with this? Fury's already down now to some dynamite. There's a supercharger in play. Funny Astro finds Sparkle. They want another Blizzard. Eternal can't contest this. They have to back off the payload once more. And Hisu had plenty of room. FD God swoops in and saves the day. And now Funny Astro just keeps his head down a little bit on the cart. There's plenty of healing for Philadelphia here. And Paris is starting to get desperate. Uh, so X, he gets one. Still have Hanbin here. So he may get staggered out. Oh, he so will get staggered win. out. Yeah, Sparkle diving in as well. I don't think you can win this with the state that the Paris Eternal are in right now, right? Oh, Hanbin, that's devastating. He tried to get away. He almost did. Uh, the, uh, Sparkle's got to get out with his life as well. Okay, he finally he does make it. Hanbin will come back and they'll have a Gravitic Flux. They'll have a Bob. I wonder Walls, if though, so you'll know exactly what's coming here for the fusion. Alarm may go aggressive with his coalescence here, and he's here. Yeah, Infrasight is, is huge, especially if you want to get rid of Fielder early, maybe before he gets coalescence. What is Hisu looking for? Coalescence has already come out here. Oh, there it is! Pick on Exe. Can't quite find the Moira. Hisu in a very safe position now. Who's going to challenge wow. him here? Who is going to step up and go after this young gun? Sparkle's not even bothering right now. Field is stuck in position there. He can't move unless he has a fade. And Ben Best goes down on the point without the healing. And Hisu finds yet another one. The second coming of Carpe. <laughs> and the Philly Fusion close the series out here on Havana against the Eternal. First, it's a dive composition with Sombra. And then they mix it up. They go for Reinhardt, a brawl composition yeah. featuring Widow, something completely off the wall. And you were right, man. It looked like the Eternal were caught by surprise. 
And I, I, they definitely were caught off by surprise, but I think Philly just, they, they were tremendous. They're, once they made the adjustments to play Hisu and Ivy for the rest of the series, pretty much, and not play more standard type of compositions and play this dive that they've really been working on. And we've seen them run it on lots of different maps. They've run it on Gibraltar, uh, and Nimbani we saw it on in this series, and it's always looked really good. They, they, they go to it today, and Paris had no answer for it. You see, Paris was trying to... Paris really gave a good effort in trying to play like more of a, a stationary, like bunkery type of style, just kind of hung.